Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to fifth round of Candidates Tournament 2020 and today I would like to show you the game between two leaders and this is the picture and so as you see the environment is very very clear we have only the players on the stage, we have some cameramen, some technicians, a photographer, no spectators so uh, this is how uh, the players play and as you see we're gonna see uh, Jan Nipomniashi from Russia, he is 29 years old player and he is number 5 in the world, he's ranking 2774, uh, one of the favorites um, of these tournaments, maybe just behind uh, Fabiano Caruana and Ding Liren, but he's doing much better than them. And we have Wang Hao from China, he's ranking 2762 and he is number 12 in the world, he is 30 years old and Jan Nepomniashi play as white and he open with E4. We have E5 by Wang Hao, Knight F3, Knight F6, Petrov defense. We have Knight on E5, D6 kicking the Knight, Knight F3, Knight E4, D4 and now D5. All of this is of course the theory. We have Bishop on D3 uh, putting the pressure on the Knight uh, and here Knight on C6 is possible, Bishop E7, Bishop on D6, this was played uh, but less popular line, uh, Wang Hao play Bishop on F5, so strengthening the Knight on E4. We have castle by white, bishop on e7, preparing to castle as well. We have rook on e1, castle by Wang Hao and knight b on d2. So even more pressure now um, on the e4 square and black actually could take the, the knight but it's um, it was never played. I mean it was played but uh, with the very bad results. Uh, normal move here is knight on d6 uh, protecting the bishop on f5 and now we have knight on f1 by Nepo and exchanging the light square bishop. So bishop d3, queen on d3 and knight c6 strengthening the center and here bishop on f4. We have knight on a6 and now this knight can be developed uh, very nicely on c7 and then from there uh, can jump to e6 if needed but also can, can jump to e8, to f6, to um, d6 and everything up to the situation. So much more flexible move. And here White usually play uh, in this position, knight on e3, uh, taking away the square from the from this knight, uh, so that's the most popular. Queen on b3 also is popular uh, to put the pressure on b7, and um, also rook on e2 uh, is possible, just, you know, double the rooks on the open file. And in 2019, actually, a couple of games um, where, where knight on g3 was played. Uh, so this these are known plans, however we have h4 by Nepo and in the interview he said as far as he knows this is a novelty in the tournaments and uh, what's the idea? Idea is to play knight on g5 with the pressure on uh, h7 but also um, this bishop is quite dangerous here, the knight can jump uh, pretty fast here to the action so uh, all of this is very unpleasant for black if the black is human, this is what Nepo said, like for the engine everything is fine, but for the human it can be uh, sometimes very tricky. And he also said usually this is good for bleeds, for rapid games, uh, but he wanted to try this in the official tournament and this is why he played. Wang Hao continue uh, knight on c7 of course because uh, this actually would be the blunder because the knight on d6 is waiting so uh, this would be just losing the piece so uh, that's impossible to play knight on c7 as planned and now knight on g5 uh, threatening the checkmate and also a uh, black can play g6 and then um, rook on e8 move the move the bishop to g7 and continue but that would be very very slow so one how play bishop on g5 we have bishop on g5 and then f6 by black, weakening the pawn structure, but this diagonal actually can't be exploited so easily as uh, light square bishops are already exchanged. And also this pawn actually controls e5, uh, very nice outpost for the knight, so knight can't just, you know, jump to e5, so that would be not possible. We have bishop on f4, queen on d7 and now knight on g3. Rook A on E8 and now Bishop on D6, Queen on D6 and Knight F5. 
five. Very active position of the knight now. Uh, and black, of course, have to do something. So we have queen on d7. And now queen on h3. Very nice move and very deep move. But how deep you will see uh, in the game, why it's so important to uh, move the queen. For now, black has to react because this is the threat to uh, check the king, but also pick up the queen. So that's very, very dangerous. So we have king on h8 and now h5 and here 10 minutes uh, of thinking by Wang Hao and he has to decide something okay h6 is coming uh, very very unpleasant so uh, Wang Hao first want to exchange the rooks we have rook on e1 rook on e1 now uh, rook on e8 uh, and exchanging the rooks if queen takes now that would be a very bad idea uh, because h6 would come and then after g6, uh, knight g7, and this is totally unpleasant position for black to, to you know, to even consider. So uh, this is why knight on e8 was played. Nepo push g4, we have a6. Uh, and here, uh, Jan Nepomniasi said uh, during the interview that he should play king on f1. And he was very angry that he didn't play that. And uh, what is the reason? because now black can't enter the game with the king. So uh, king g8 and now g5 is very, very strong. So black would have to go back to h8. And if not, for example, king on f7 doesn't work uh, because g6, h takes on g6, h takes on g6 and now king g6 and this is the problem attack on the queen and winning the queen. So that's the tactic. So uh, queen on f7, but it also doesn't work because g6 exactly the same reason h takes on g6 h takes on g6 and now we have another tactic so uh winning the queen as well so it also doesn't work um, and also king on f8 doesn't work because of g6 uh, and now h takes on g6 uh, it doesn't need to be played of course uh, h6 can be played uh, but queen on a3 with check this is the problem and and winning move so uh, king on g8 knight on e7 with check and of course uh, if king go back then uh, white would win this pawn this pawn and if king go to uh, h8 it actually doesn't matter much knight c6 uh, and now checkmate is coming so uh, it's the same and uh, of course white would just win uh, so that was the idea however nepo play b3 here and now queen on a3 is no longer possible and of course that's prepare c4 so we have queen on e6 threatening e1 so as you see if the king is on f1 already it would uh, you know that would be no threat at all so white have to play knight on e3 but this is a very good move because it prepares actually c4 we have knight on d6 preventing now uh, c4 is impossible but nepo actually found the way how to exploit that and he play h6 a very interesting move of course black don't want to uh, mess up the pawn structure so g6 and now c4 anyway and what's the idea the, the idea is uh, pretty neat because d takes on c4 b takes on c4 and it looks like black actually can take on c4 but can they Feel free to pause the video and tell me uh, if you would take as black while I enjoy my cup of tea Okay, ready? So if you think you can pick up this pawn, actually you are wrong. Knight on c4, queen on c4, and now queen h2 wins the game. And you can do nothing about that. This is the threat and you're gonna be checkmated and you can do uh, totally nothing. King on g8, uh, you're gonna lose all the pawns. So uh, queen on b8, king f7, now queen b7, king e8, and now queen h7. And you're gonna lose another pawn and of course um, this pawn gonna promote and win the game. If you want to exchange the queens, which looks quite good, then queen f7, king f7, and now f4, g5 is coming and uh, if you play g5 then f5 and now you can only calculate uh, who's gonna win this game. So black have to pick up this pawn which is of course possible, one, two, three and now four, five, six and seven to get to this uh, to defend your, your pawn and that is the seven moves and white at the same time, one, two, three, four, five 
and six. So you're gonna be here and black king gonna be only here. So of course white would win the game. Uh, and if you want to play something like queen on g8, it also doesn't work because queen d6 and this is the threat now. And you can do nothing about that uh, because that's gonna be just checkmate. Uh, if you try to, you know, uh, prevent that, then we have the double attack on the king and on f6, and uh, you cannot def defend both queen g8, queen f6, and that would be just just checkmate. So uh, definitely, it can't be taken. So Wang Hao play king on g8 and now uh, taking the c4 pawn is possible but now we have queen on h2 uh, putting this queen on very very important diagonal. Now look at this diagonal. These squares uh, should be controlled by black but how to do that? Uh, we have king on f7 uh, and now c5 kicking the, the knight, knight have to go somewhere, so knight b5 controlling uh, c7, but nothing controls b8, that is the problem, so we have queen on b8, and here is the critical moment of the game, because Wang Hao blunder by queen on d7, and it's not really easy to find why this is blunder, first I will show you uh, the lines which which are better for black actually it's it's drawing so knight on d4 is drawing uh, and this this line was shown to um Yanni Pomnashi during the interview and he said that is this is just crazy this is engine line it's impossible for human to find it because what is the problem uh, black actually gonna lose one, two, three pawns and this pawn, uh, you know, gonna promote. And this knight is on e3, so it's defending a lot of key squares, okay? So it's impossible to, um, to actually uh, checkmate white king and also uh, even perpetual check is, is almost impossible to deliver, but it's possible now. Queen on b7 queen on e7 and now queen on a6 so lost two pawns already and now queen on e4 and it looks like everything is okay but actually uh, now queen on b7 with check king e8 picking up on h7 and now knight on e2 and uh, king on h2 now queen on f4 with check and now if black actually moves somewhere uh, it's, you know, forced checkmate in four. So it's impossible to, white now have to play very precisely to not, to not lose the game. So king on g2, uh, queen on e4, and that would be just perpetual. So, uh, and if king on f1, then actually black can play something like knight on g3 uh, and now have another uh, mating ideas. White, of course, can try to, you know, escape, but uh, with, the, with the king here, then it's, it, it's, it's impossible, it's pointless. Um, F takes on g3 also doesn't work. And now don't take the, the knight because that would be, you know, uh, losing. First, queen on f3. And now after king on e1, king on e1, queen e3 with check, and that would be a draw. But this is the engine line, uh, and it's impossible to find. However, the players uh, on the conference found queen on e7. And I will not show you the engine line, a knight on c2, you know, defending this d4, and it's a lot of positional play here, so very difficult, and it's only slightly better for white, probably draw, uh, but I will show you queen on h8 and why it doesn't uh, win this time. So a king on e6, because of course that was the threat, and now f4, that was played uh, in the game, but the queen was on d8, so I will just show you What's the difference here? Uh, and now knight on d4, and now if queen on g8, then king actually can escape to d7, and that's uh, and that's just draw. It's uh, nothing can be done here. And if here queen on c8, the same king can just hide to f7. So uh, this is the difference. And now let's see what happened in the game. Queen on d7 was played, which is very important. And now we have queen on h8. 
of course king on e6 we have now f4 uh, and knight on d4 uh, but i would like to show you what happened if f5 is played uh, so for example a5 or something like that f5 is actually deadly because g takes on f5 g takes on f5 king e7 and now queen on h7 king e8 exchanging the queens and of course promoting and winning the game so this is why Knight on d4 has to be played here uh, to control f5 and now all of this doesn't work but actually Nepo found the way how to exploit that and look at this top level technique Wang Hao uh, missed something one little detail and this is why uh, he gonna lose this game so he played queen on g8 with check and now king can't escape because if the queen is on e7 then king actually can escape to d7 this is a huge difference we have queen on f7 queen on c8 queen on d7 queen g8 so players uh, you know repeat the position uh, two times because it's the move 37 so you know it's uh, always good to to get more time uh, and now we have queen on f7 and now queen on d8 this is the move which was missed by uh, Wang Hao that's what he said in the interview and now uh, what's the problem so the queen of course attack the the knight but also treat the checkmate here so uh, the knight can't just go here because we have a5 so knight gonna be lost of course knight on c3 that would be a checkmate so it uh, doesn't work so queen on d7 was played and only now f5 you follow so g takes on f5 g takes on f5 knight takes on f5 and only now queen on d7 this is just insane king on d7 knight f5 winning the knight and probably the game however we have king on e6 knight on e3 and in this position Wang Hao resigned the game and why he resigned the game uh, because uh, for us mortals maybe it's a very strange but also Magnus Carlsen uh, said like he would not resign it's still a lot uh, to play so uh, for those who are not interested in this end game just th that's all for this video thank you for watching but if you're interested how to win as white is actually not so easy for us mortals so I will just show you a couple of lines not all of course but I will show you some important lines so if black play something like king on e5 then we would have knight on c4 and then king d5 knight on b6 we check king c5 knight d7 and now what to do as black uh, king on d5 of course uh, it's it's you know coming with tempo so doesn't make any sense so maybe king on d6 knight on f6 and now king on e6 uh, knight on h7 king on f7 knight on g5 king on g6 and now h7 king g7 have to prevent of course from uh, queening and now king can go to f2 and now c5 is impossible because because of this uh, trick so first b6 and now king on f3 uh, c5 king e4 c4 uh, king d4 now b5 and only now knight on e6 king h7 and now uh, knight c7 winning the pawn and winning the game so this is the way how to do that however uh, in this position after knight on f6 black can try to push uh, the pawn first so for example c5 uh, not much changed here because knight on h7 c4 knight g5 c3 and the problem is now we have this trick again and of course white is winning the game black have to go for this pawn so <laughs> that's gonna be um, definitely losing so we know already that these moves are wrong how about king on d4 this looks pretty safe now yes uh yeah it looks like that but it also losing knight on f6 c5 knight on h7 c4 knight g5 c3 h7 you see that already c2 almost promoting but now this come with check so again white is winning
So uh, definitely these moves are just wrong. What to do more? Uh, we have moved this, okay? King on b5. And now this looks everything very, very fine because now uh, black can just push this pawn, correct? Okay, let's see. Knight f6, c5, knight h7, c4, knight g5, c3, knight f3, and white is again winning. Uh, if c2, then we again have this trick very very tricky position so black actually can do anything um, if they continue with uh, king on e5 this is not the way but Magnus Carlsen show something else king on f7 and this is very interesting and then he show something like this knight on g4 actually it's worth watching now because you can see how the uh, how the knight can work in the end game and I show you already one game uh, where it was so big disproportion where one side have the knight and this was very interesting end game as well so Olgic Duras and Akiba Rubinstein from 1905 if you are interested if you enjoy this end game check over there definitely uh, something to learn uh, but let's back here uh, what to play N Magnus Carlsen find knight on g4 defending the pawn and now f5 kicking the the knight and now knight on e5 look at this so knight and pawn create the wall uh, king f6 and only now knight on c4 king on g6 knight a5 king h6 knight b7 and it looks like white is winning but are you sure it's winning king g6 knight a5 looks pretty scary king f6 knight on c6 now h5 knight on d4 king e5 c6 king d6 and okay uh, black can't do anything about that but how about these two pawns king f2 h4 and white don't have really clear way to win this if white actually want to pick up this pawn uh, then we have promotion here and if white gonna play something like g2 then we have f4 uh, and after h3 then we would have this move and whenever the the knight moves then of course black gonna pick up the c6 pawn and, and after that just go and pick up this pawn so it's very very tricky still uh, in this position you know how to continue so i think Wang Hao should at least you know try until until this moment but i found one way actually how to uh, win that game so uh, here uh, after uh, king on f7 we see already it's it's quite strong the idea is king on f2 so bring the king to the game early and now after king on g6 knight on g4 f5 and now don't go to uh, e5 play king on e3 and now uh, if black moves then of course bring the uh, king even further so black would take on h6 and now after losing f pawn everything is easy white is winning pretty easy so a king on g5 now knight on d6 attacking the pawn uh, and black can do nothing about that but it's still quite interesting how to win that king on f6 knight on b7 now king on e6 and now this pawn can't move so first a4 king d5 and now a5 and look at this position these two pawns are defended so a king has nothing to do here so king has to go for the knight but once the king approach c7 the knight can jump to d6 and that's of course uh, pointless to to run after the knight because knight can go to b7 and this king at that time can just pick up this pawn and you know uh, come and help and win the game so this is why Wang Hao, I'm not sure if he, uh, he just believe probably in Nepo skills in the end game. So he just respects him and he resigned the game. Okay, 
If you like this video, press like. If you don't like this video, press unlike. And of course, leave the comment. What do you think about this endgame? This endgame still could be played, in my opinion, and in Magnus Carlsen's opinion as well. So um, definitely we would have a little bit more uh, to study. But even without this, we still could study. So uh, if you don't want to miss any other games from uh, Candidates Tournament, 2020 press subscribe smash the bell button and thanks for watching and see you in the next one